Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, man. Side note, man. I can't wait to watch the HBO rebroadcast of uh, Anthony Joshua and Klitschko because I know Jim Lampley. I just can't wait to hear the look on his uh, face of disgust when he's uh, analyzing this fight. But um, anyway, man, as I said before, man, like, like I said, man, I really enjoyed watching this fight, man. I really did, man. It was good to see see fights like this on TV because, like I said, man, Klitschko stuck up the joint. But I want to say this about Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua, see, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I mean by building your legacy, taking a step in the right direction, man. Whether people like it or not, Anthony Joshua took a risk, you know, and he beat a future Hall of Famer. He beat a first ballot Hall of Fame fighter. You know, this dude was a former pound for pound. And see, that's the only gripes. And this is what I'm seeing when you hear me criticizing Triple G and Lamacheco. That's all I've been seeing, you know. Let's wait. You know, Anthony Joshua is on his way to superstardom. He beat a pound for pound fighter. Not current, but former. He beat a future Hall of Famer. This is all I've been trying to say to people. And they seem to make it about something else. And no, you know what I'm saying? It isn't. Now, I'm going to talk about Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder in the next matchup. Because, you know, like everybody that said from Mr. Boxing to 78, to me, these two dudes, they, they're going to have to uh, see each other. Whether it be the end of the year, whether it be early 2018, which I think that fight won't take place in 2018. But I'll talk about that in the next video. But this is what I'm saying about Anthony Joshua. You can holler about that Klitschko was 41 years old. He was an old man. Yes, that's true. But still an active fighter. He still got beat. Still signed a contract to fight. So we got to give him some credit. You know, Bernard Hopkins fought till he was 51. You know, his last fight was against Joe Smith. Joe Smith knocked Bernard Hopkins out. He stopped him. You know, so we got to give Joe Smith some kind of credit. Whether people can say, oh, Bernard Hopkins was 51 years old, whatever. And if they would have fought 10 years ago, well, it doesn't matter. They didn't fight 10 years ago. They had fought, you know, now. They had fought at that time. So you got to give these dudes they just do. You know, I know people going to try to diminish what Anthony Joshua did tonight, but I'm not going to let people get away with that. You know, it was a great win for him. He's, he got, he stopped him. You know what I'm saying? He came out and just, you know what I'm saying? He came out and smoked Klitschko in the 11th round. I mean, he just clearly just came out of nowhere. Like he got a second win. You know, maybe he was trying to pace himself. But nevertheless, he got the job done, man. So we got to give this dude his credit. We already know people going to discredit this dude. And it ain't going to be because of boxing. It's going to be because of other shit. You already know what time it is. But the man did his thing, man. And the more I think about it, the more I'm impressed with uh, Anthony Joshua's uh, victory. I say this once again. He beat a former pound for pound. He beat a future Hall of Famer. He has a future Hall of Famer on his resume. You know. So, it is what it is, man. I'm out.